This is the last section of the conditional probability chapter tree diagrams. And all we're doing here is applying conditional probability to tree diagrams. Now, you'll remember at GCSE, you did questions where um, maybe a bead or something was taken out of a pot or something like that or a bag and it wasn't replaced. So let's say that we had some um, black beads and some white beads. Let's say that there were seven out of 15 were black and eight out of 15 were white. Then if this is without replacement, so this is where the uh, conditional probability comes in when things are not replaced, then what's going to happen down here is this is going to be, uh, if we take a blackout, so we've now got 6 out of 14, and this will be 8 out of 14, and then on this branch, the values will be different because we now take out a white one, so it'll be 7 over 14 or a half, and this will be uh, 7 out of 14 as well. So when we get to the second branch, when we get down here, for example, I could explain this as what's the probability that I get a black? OK, so what's this? What's this probability here? Given that I've just taken out a black. So this black here. Let's do another one that's a bit more interesting. Let's say I wanted to write down what this was here. So this would be the probability that I take a black. And you see it's the black down at the bottom. So that's this black here. Given that. I've taken a white. So we'd write it like that. And then using a multiplication rule, when we get to the end of the branch here, if I want to work out the probability of a white and a black, which is what this branch here would represent. So this branch here is a white followed by a black. Then the way that we write that is, well, you multiply the two probabilities together. So the top branch, is the probability that it's a white. The second branch is the probability that it's a black, given that I've just taken white. And you'll recognize that that is the multiplication rule. So this section is just about applying the conditional probability rule to tree diagrams. So here you can see an example here. That's the probability is A. So this branch represents the probability of B, given that I've just done A. So the probability of a B, given that I've just done A. And to find both of those, we will multiply them together like that. And on this tree diagram, they've got not A and not B. So you would get similar rules for the other branches. Our bag contains six green beads and four yellow beads, so six green and four yellow. A bead is taken out from the bag at random. The color is recorded and not replaced. OK, so this is without replacement. So it's, we, this is where the conditional probability in, uh, comes in. A second bead is taken from the bag and its color is recorded. Given that both beads so you might want to correct that mistake in the books, are the same colour. Find the probability they are both yellow. So the first thing we're going to do is to write down the wording of this question as a probability. Now you need to be careful with this because the order in which these things are written is not the same as you write it in the order of your probability. Now what you're looking for is this phrase, given that. And the thing that comes straight after the given that is the thing that comes straight after the line in the probability. Yeah. So as soon as you see given that. Whatever phrase comes straight after it goes here. So this is actually the way we would interpret this is that um, actually it means this. You've got to think of it the other way. Find the probability, find the probability both beads are 
yellow. Given that um, they are the same color, given that they are the same color. So you need to think it's actually out of if them being the same color. Notice the wording of that is actually the opposite way around how it's written in a sentence. Given that they are both the same color. So given that this bit needs to be the bit that talks about them being the same color. Because it comes straight after that word given that. Whereas this bit here needs to be the bit that talks about them both being yellow. Yeah. So when we write this probability out, I'm going to write it like this. What's the probability that they're both yellow? Given that they're the same color. And what we're going to do, we're going to use a tree diagram to help us work that out. So we have green and yellow. I'll make it orange because yellow is not very clear. And then down here, green and yellow again, or green and orange. And we'll put the probabilities in. So we start off with six green out of 10, four yellows out of 10. And then the green goes down by one. And the total number of these goes down by one. This branch here, the number of yellows is the same. On the second set of branches, number of green stays the same, but this one less. The number of yellows goes down by one. Now we can work out this probability. So first of all, what's the probability that they're both yellow? Right, the probability that they're both yellow is going to be this bit here. That's the probability that they're both yellow. And uh, well, actually, let's write down the, the rule. So probability both yellow and same color. over the probability that they're the same color. Yeah. So we're just applying the conditional probability rule, but with it, without, instead of A and B, we've just got both yellow, same color. Right. So the top bit of the probability is, what's the probability that they're both yellow and the same color? Well, that's that bit I've highlighted in blue. So that's four over 10 times three over nine over the probability that they're the same color. All right, so let's get rid of this. So the probability that they're the same color is um, this bit here, they're the same color, and this bit here. So we need to multiply and add. So it's gonna be six over 10 times five over nine, them both being um, green and both yellow, four over 10 times three over nine. Don't be tempted to cancel down because this doesn't cancel down because we are adding, not multiplying here. So it won't cancel down. So if we work that out, we will have at the top 12 over 90 divided by, so we'll get 30 over 90 plus 12 over 90, so that's 12 over 90 uh, divided by 42 over 90. 90. So we can just do that straight on our calculator. We'll do that now, 12 over 90 times, or divided by 42 over 90. And we get exactly two over seven. So that's what it simplifies to. And I did that on my calculator. So final answer, two over seven here. Right, you should now be able to do exercise 2e on pages 31 to 34. So a uh, quick recap. Uh, here's our t tree diagram. Let's have A, B, A, B, A, B. 
Okay, so if this is a conditional probability, uh, this would be the probability of A, this would be the probability of B, this would be the probability of A given A, this would be the uh, probability of B given A, this one would be the probability of A given B, and this last one would be the probability of B given B, and we're using our rule uh, either as the division or the multiplication for the uh, conditional probability. So we can either use it like this, the probability of A given B equals the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Or if we multiply both sides by the probability of B, same rule, just written as a multiplication, probability of A and B is the probability of A given B times the probability of B.